Second Chance Trust is an NPO whose vision is to decrease the stats of gender-based and domestic violence, child abuse, addiction, gangsterism, bullying, HIV, and unnecessary deaths in our nation through educational workshops, sports and recreation, multimedia, counseling, and of course, public support. Joining us today is the founder of the organization, Jared Smith, and the world champ hip-hop dancer, Blake the Champ Williams, yeah, yeah. to discuss their latest efforts, auction the famous Springbucks painting. Gentlemen, welcome to The Loft. Amazing. Thanks Thank so much you. for having us. Uh, cool uh, setup you got here. Yeah, we're all in the festive spirit, but you know what the uh, festive spirit is all about and what Christmas, to me, emulates giving back. It's not only about us. We have to make it a happy season for so all. True. And that's essentially what you guys are doing. And Blake, I'm loving the energy that you're already coming with <laughs> because that's essentially what you guys stand for. Quite passionately going in there, going into communities that need it the most yeah. and making the change. But gentlemen, from the beginning, the inception of your project yes. to where it is now, I mean, I just delivered a mouthful of everything you guys have done, accomplished and how you've grown. So do you want to just, Jared, starting with you, break down that growth? Yeah, I think it started with a big vision, a big dream to inspire the next generation, mm -hmm. to equip kids with the right tools to become the greatest version of themselves. And obviously myself and Blake started together nine, nine years ago. And it was a vision and a dream we knew would be possible. It was reachable. Mm -hmm. But obviously you still have that seed of doubt. Can we get there? But we worked really hard and, and we've just been so blessed to do what we love. And over the last nine years, we've seen Second Chance grow to an international level okay. where we've been able to travel and inspire kids, give them hope and strength to overcome their difficult situations mm. and reach for their dreams and become the greatest version of themselves. Because a lot of kids are struggling with sexual abuse, drugs, absent parents, low self-esteem. Mm. There's just so much stuff happening inside of them. We're giving them the strength and the tools to overcome that and use their pain to become purpose and power so they can move forward. I love that. And that's essentially emulated even within the name of the organization. Yeah. Second chance, you're giving back in, in, in a second life, a rebirth almost. Yes, 100%. And that's what I love to see. But not only are you gentlemen doing just incredible work from the ground up, yeah. you are also using different mediums, different forms to connect to everyone who needs the help. True. So why art? I specifically want to just delve into that famous Springbuck painting where you decided to collaborate with Chaz the Artist and um, I just want to find out what spoke to you most specifically within that. I think uh, getting to know Blake over the last nine years, seeing hip hop as an art and what it does for people, the way people are able to express themselves and actually speak a language through dance. Mm. When, I, when Chaz and I connected, he'll tell you the story. But when we connected and I saw his ability and his gift to, to paint and create pictures, I just thought about what the Springboks winning the World Cup meant to our country. Mm. The story of Sia, the story of Cheslin. So many kids who are now adults who overcame difficult situations mm. and allowed their dreams to become a reality. Mm. That picture represents a thousand stories of victories and second chances. So that's why we decided to do that painting because it emulates what we stand for. Mm. Yes, as they do say, a picture does say a thousand words and that's essentially what we're saying here. But Blake, moving to you, I mean, you are quite the man about town, really recognizable within and around the Cape Town space and uh, more specifically within the dance community as the world champ himself, you've got such an incredible platform. I mean, you're influential and essentially now I can call you a public figure, not to forget Cosmopolitan Sexiest ooh, Man ooh, in I, 2018, I, I, just saying, but through all that you've accomplished, all that you've essentially used as stepping stones to be where you are today. What was it about Second Chance Trust that spoke to you and said, hey, look, I need to get involved here? I think it comes back to the word that Jared used early on, hope. Growing up, I didn't come from the best circumstances and I didn't have the best opportunities. But dancing separated me from a lot of my peers, a lot of my friends, in that it made me hopeful that I would become something one day. And when I met Jared, just the word of hope resonated with me and it shined bright. Um, the opportunity that he gave me to share that hope with other kids, with other people, just using dance as a medium to communicate with them and inspire them. It's amazing what you can do to someone's life when you spark that dream within yeah, them. Yeah, so true. And that's the same thing that happened with me. 
uh, he shared his hope with me and I shared my hope with other people and that's what we keep doing at Second Chance. And I think that is what made me say today that I have been successful, yeah. always having that hope, something to look forward to and not uh, defining myself based on my circumstances, my environment or how much money I have in yeah, my pocket, so but where I see myself to be because I know what's going on inside here. Yeah. And there's so many people like that, they're born with so much potential but they don't have the opportunities in life. If we can share that hope with them, they can yeah. become what they aim to be in life. It definitely seems that the next generation is in safe hands here when I look at you two gentlemen and using the platforms that you have for the good. So you've got an incredible competition that you are running. You've decided to auction off an incredible painting, uh, the painting that we were speaking about earlier. Mm. What is the mechanic of the competition? How can South Africans get involved? So basically the painting is going to be auctioned off at our fundraiser at the Grand Cafe on the 23rd of Jan. Mm. Just to let South Africans know, we want a million rand for that painting. Woo! I think we can I, I, I do it, South I don't think, Africa. I don't think that's, uh, that's asking too much. But what we're doing right now is we're running a, a competition via a raffle. So four lucky people can win a limited edition of that painting, but it's a print of it. Signed by Chaz. The print is worth roughly between 20 and 25,000 Rand each. So what they have to do is they have to visit our website. It's www.second2nd hyphen chance .co.za, and there's a page dedicated to this painting. Okay. And you can buy one raffle ticket for 100, five for 500, there's different options, and your name goes into the lucky draw. At the end of, at the, on the 9th of December okay. and the 9th of January, we are giving away two separate limited edition prints to lucky winners. And that oh. money goes to, obviously, the work we do, and then we'll sell that, that uh, original at the Grand on the 23rd. That's very exciting yeah. because not only is this, an, is this an opportunity just to get incredible art yeah. into your home, but it's essentially just emulating what we're about as yeah. Mzansi in yeah. South yeah. Africa. So I appreciate it's not a lot. It's no. not? Yeah. Okay, so speaking about that, I mean, you've already touched base as to Sia Kolisi and his story resonating with so many South Africans, yes. whether in different industries. Mm -hmm. You don't only have to be within the sports yeah. realm. Yeah. So I also believe that when you guys got to dedicate this to Sia Kolisi, you also wanted to play a bit of a prank on him. Uh, tell us a little <laughs> bit about the mischievousness that happens behind the yeah, scenes that we don't know. Idea. Obviously, he's a wild <laughs> boy, so he, he came up with a concept. But, uh, so the idea was just to make, uh, have some fun. And uh, it was all planned out. Chaz went to the bathroom, inverted commas. <laughs> and Chaz, uh, Sia asked me where to sign. I said, sign, I think sign here uh, in the front. And as Chaz came back, he said, Sia, make sure you sign at the back. Sia's face went, I don't know what it went, it just big eyes and he was dead still. And then uh, Chaz eventually, <laughs> he let that simmer for a bit and he said, just joking. And there was just a sigh of relief. Um, so yeah. We that to, is not cool. I know it's not cool. I would never speak to any of you gentlemen ever again. Yeah. But you know what? It's all about having a sense of humor. And he was such a gentleman, yeah. such a humble person, such a sportsman. Mm. And yeah, it was just incredible to see how he took that and, yeah. and just <laughs> laughed about it. Yeah, it said a lot about his character, yes. actually. Just to see his humble approach to what happened to him. He felt genuinely sorry for making it. He didn't even blame me. And he's, yeah, he's, he's so amazing. Such yeah. a humble guy. We're so grateful for him. Oh, I love that. Okay, we have to just uh, take a moment. I would like to take a moment because because as much as you gentlemen decided to be a little mean, a little mischievous when it comes to Sia Kolisi, he has such a big giving spirit. He decided so, to send you guys a little bit of a shout out. So let's have a look at this. So grateful and I'm so excited to hopefully get as many bidders as we can. And this is going for a great cause. Second Chance has been doing amazing work. The Kolisi Foundation has been doing amazing work too. And I'm grateful for guys like Blake, you know, use their platform for greater things and for shares, for paying this, took him three months. All his hard work is gonna pay off now. And yeah, just South Africa and everybody around the world, you can join the bid. This is going for a great cause, I'm super excited. And yeah, hopefully you enjoy it and just share the moment that I shared with the rest of my team, the rest of the country. Anywhere, anywhere around the world, you can put your hands on the painting. Cheers, guys. Captain, my captain! How exciting. Gentlemen, I mean, seeing that, how does that make you feel, knowing that you've been a part of such an incredible movement? I think for uh, Sia to say that South Africans and the world mm. must get involved with this painting yeah. speaks a lot. 
uh, it's, it's, a, it's a memory that I think we will hold on for the rest of our lives. Yeah. Wow. And something special for me also that he said is people are using their platforms to do something greater than themselves, focusing yeah. on something greater. I think that's something that speaks to a lot of us. We see many people of influence, many celebrities, many successful people that have a responsibility to the people at the bottom that are struggling and trying yeah. to make their way out of the gutter. We can and we have the power to change yeah. that. So if it's something small as a hundred rand that you can donate or even just your time, let's come to together, let's unite, let's yeah. change, let's not wait for change. We're going to go out there and create change for ourselves. Yeah, let together us we can, yeah. yeah. And on that note, together we will. Please do head over to our Afternoon Express website and we've got the details as to how you can get involved with this painting, with auctioning and giving back to communities that need it the most. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thanks for having us. For seeing the vulnerable and helping them. We Thank definitely you. appreciate it. You're Thank awesome. You so much, Thank yeah. you. What an exciting and important competition Second Chance Trust is running in the efforts and philanthropy to combat the rise of turmoil in communities and make the lives of our people just a little easier, manageable and hopeful for our younger generations so that we can face a better and more trusting tomorrow.